We're strolling into a monarch butterfly sanctuary. This is the most seals I've ever seen on the beach before. <laughs> right here, the entire thing is full of sea lions. Oh, I see an otter, otter, otter. Right there, there's an otter. We are Susie and Martin, a couple of longtime Seattle residents looking to escape the rain. So we're heading to Northern California for a few weeks and taking our baby Julian on his first long road trip. In the previous episodes, we drove from Seattle to California, explored the Redwood National Park, and sipped our way through wine country in Sonoma and Napa Valley. Now we've arrived at our new home on the road for the next two weeks, Pacific Grove, a coastal city in Monterey County, California. Good morning from Monterey, California. It looks like paradise. It feels like paradise, most importantly. The weather's amazing. It's a little misty, foggy, but the sun is out and it is so warm out. We're here at Lover's Point. All right, yes, we are exploring Monterey for the first time in the morning now. It's honestly paradise here, it's so lovely. We're gonna take a big, long walk down the path here. He's Julian. for his, his coastal walk this morning. <laughs> He's very happy. There are tons of these little ground squirrels <laughs> right hanging out you. on this rock. I know, they come up right next to you. People yeah. must feed them. Oh, don't you jump on me. Oh, <laughs> hi. From here on, we'll be catching a trail all the way down there. It goes for 18 miles, but we'll only be going all the way. Came down the staircase right here. The beach is actually full of mussel shells. And the birds are just like right here. They're just chilling. And they don't seem to care at all that there are people here. I am super happy to find out there's a big walking system here because this is totally the way we like to live. We have such walking paths in our neighborhood and we walk them every day. And we're here for two weeks and we're gonna pretend like we live here. Yep, we're gonna be walking a lot and so glad that the weather's gonna be really nice for the next couple of weeks. Yeah, that's one thing we don't have right now in Seattle. Everywhere you look here, people are enjoying the fantastic weather and the beautiful scenery. The beach is right on our side here, right where Susie's taking videos. And it's like a mini, coastal preserve here. There are animals around this bay. And people swimming. Oh, I see an otter, otter, otter. Right there, there's an otter. Yes, I got him. All right, that was so cool. Our first sea otter with a zoom lens on video. We have been looking for otters for a long time. We've only seen them like 10 years ago in Canada, and we only had still shot cameras back then. That's right, that was really cool. They are so cute when you're seeing them up close. And yeah, our zoom lens that we have is just barely long enough to get it. So I'm glad we brought it with us. The reason we brought it are these otters. <laughs> yeah, for otters specifically. Yes. <laughs> this is the most seals I've ever seen on the beach before. So we were just walking by and we were like, oh look, a seal. Oh, there's two seals. Oh, never mind, there's like dozens of them. Well, it is moments like this that we have the big zoom for. Yeah. I have heard a long time that there's lots of wildlife in Monterey, so that's why we brought it. But I never knew how much actually, because you just go down the street. Yeah, we just started our walk and we keep having to pause because we keep seeing cool things. We've already seen otters, we've seen tons of birds, now we saw tons and tons of seals. It's like a colony of big yeah. ones. Yeah, it was so cool. Very fun, very fun. We were just commenting on how much we really like the style here. It's like a nice boardwalk, but it feels nicely landscaped. And even though it does have the coast nearby, like they haven't skimped on the buildings. The buildings are actually really well done too. Yeah, this is kind of um, back then when this was being settled by colonists, it was the Victorian type of style, which also is how San Francisco was built at the time. I think there was fishing industry here and Looks like a railroad runs here, so it's got that old world charm. And so much recreation and so much wildlife, it's just fantastic. Something about old wagons and railroads, which is pretty charming. It's pretty nice that they put it next to the bike path, so you have like the old way of getting around and the new way. In fact, I saw that there's something called the Rails to Trails um, Network of America or something like that, which part of runs here. So there's some kind of project to combine the two. We got to downtown Monterey. I think down here is a lot of really kind of boutiques and hotels. There's and one main hotel here. I think the Plaza Hotel. Yes. And a bunch of businesses to support it. 
Looks there pretty it is. nice. Waterfront. You can see the bay through the lobby. I haven't checked the price, but probably after we become superstars. We have a little superstar now that he's working on the fan base. You can see right here, thinking of his ascent to fame. Well, it may be a little premature since we've only been here for half a day, but I think we can make the pledge now so that we stick, stick to it, that if we make $10 million, we'll move here. Yeah, we really love Monterey so far, and you know we've been on a constant quest to find some place that's better than where we live in Seattle, Washington. And of course, no place is perfect. We understand that, but we really, really like it here. It's, uh, yeah, just the weather, number one is probably the best part and it just feels like you can be active year round which is really really important that is the thing this is november but it also never really heats up because of the ocean influence and it doesn't get dark like seattle does even though it's right on the ocean because it's south enough the other thing is it's very very clean and peaceful while we've been living in a city of four million people for over 10 to almost 20 years we're tired of it and we have a child now this is a better environment for your child. And another thing about Monterey, as you can see, it's actually very full of things. It's not barren, it's not a tiny place which gets boring quickly. And right here, you have a very nice marina. The bay goes on for a long time in the distance, all the way to Santa Cruz. And you have wildlife, oh, such good food and everything else. So everything converges in the way that we really like it and the phase in life we're in is actually perfect for it <laughs> you like the ocean vapors when you sleep that's what you've experienced mm -hmm. so far the reason i'm saying 10 million dollars are required is because we look at the house prices and a house for a family would be something between two and three million dollars here and then the taxes are very high here in the state of california so we would have to have quite a lot of money more than we currently have to be able to comfortably afford it. Otherwise, we would be at risk of eventually not being able to afford it. Since um, employment is kind of rough here, you have to come with your assets. Well, we kept walking a little further and we found just tons of birds just hanging out here. There's like at least three, four, five, six pelicans just hanging out down here. There's a bunch of these seabirds. I don't even know what kind of seabirds these are. And there's a seal. Oh, the seal's on the rock now. It's pretty cool. All right, do you see it? It's right there. It's a big seal. Kind of blends in with the rocks. There's an otter swimming out there. There's tons of wildlife. Coming up on a little marina. Old Fisherman's Wharf. Ah, that's the old wharf here. Earliest pier of stone and built in 1846. And it has, oh, it's a nice little oh, walk. Nice, let's do it. Let's go, cool. maybe get a snack. Yeah. Looks like people fish from here. Yeah. Given how much we'll you know, see food or <laughs> see life we've seen. <laughs> see life and potential seafood, yes. <laughs> wow, just candy. There's been like three candy shops. Yeah. We just walked in. Old Fisherman's Grotto. Milkshakes could get me one of those days. Monterey Bay Creamery. Oh, ice cream. So it's all just food. <laughs> There's a lot of sugar here. Oh, there are sandwiches though. Maybe we get a sandwich here. Well, this path is so great. We could go all day, honestly. But the little flow in our plan is that Julian ate all the milk, so we need to go back to where we can make him more. Yeah, we gotta get more food for him and food for us. There are some places to eat here, but we wanna make sure that he's fed. So we're gonna do what we don't necessarily wanna do and head back to where we came from, but we will keep exploring today. We're strolling into a Monarch Butterfly Sanctuary, right? It's actually right behind our hotel. We didn't even really know about it, but there's tons of cars that are coming here every day, lots of people coming, and I guess we're in the right time of year to see these monarch butterflies. A lot of people have come here to look for the butterflies. Oh, I see them up there. Oh, yeah, it's pretty cool. They're around, yeah, all above us. Right now it's pretty magical here. We're looking at many of them flying and trying to catch them on camera, which is not at all the easiest thing. I got one. Yeah, nice. This is pretty neat that we have this in our backyard and it's free. You can just walk in. It's run by volunteers. And I think they take donations. But yeah, we will definitely be visiting here uh, as many times as we can because we've got another week or so here to come whenever we want. But yeah, these are monarch butterflies and they actually come here to Pacific Grove during their migration. They start coming around October, I believe, and they're here till about February, March. So November is a really good time to come see them. 
<laughs> what's nice about that butterfly sanctuary is that it's actually natural. They don't cage them or put any kind of netting or whatever. They just stop there on their annual migration, which is great. Yeah, so that's why you really need to be here when they're actually uh, in season. If you come any other time, then it's just going to be a nice walk in the park, but you probably won't see much, maybe some birds. All right, we made it to Asilomar Beach. A lot of people have told us on this trip to come here, and it's actually one of the closest beaches for us besides Lover's Point. Yes, it's the neighborhood beach actually for us. I ran here this morning and I realized there are nice paths we can take now towards sunset. It's pretty gorgeous. This is the scenery as you're strolling on the beach here. Super nice. And it's like a nature preserve, so it cannot be developed in a kitsch way or ruined in some kind of way that humans may have done in other beaches. From the north, this beach is a series of little coves that are private, like just about each family has one to themselves right now. It's simply fantastic and much quieter this way because the ocean is more choppy here. Beaches here are also a little bit more rough compared to on the other side, closer to like Lover's Point. You have more rocks, so you can't swim out as far as you could at some of the other beaches, but really nice for tide pooling. So we walked this entire semi-paved path to on Asilomar Beach and it ended up going to a really nice long stretch of beach where there's even a sunset wedding happening and lots of people swimming and walking along the beach. But unfortunately it wasn't very stroller friendly. So we decided to make that our turnaround point. Now we're going to head back to where we came from. But along the way there are a lot of these little beach coves that you, are basically private. There's not a lot of people hanging out at them but there's also little areas for tide pooling. So we're gonna see if we can find some tide pools and show you guys what's there. So Julian's enjoying a little snack here. And meanwhile, Martin went all the way down there because he spotted a family of otters playing near some of the rocks. And so we have a wide angle lens or a zoom lens, which we think is gonna be able to capture them pretty well. But I can barely see them from here, but they're playing down there. They look super cute. And there have been a lot of otters over in the Pacific Beach or Pacific Grove side of Monterey so far. Sunset with Julian. We brought him out so he could finally see what, he, what we, we were looking at because he's been looking kind of at us and kind of to the side. But I don't think he's been able to see the beach very well. But now he is. <laughs> yeah, he is. No. In this golden hour, it's about to be sunset. It's just gorgeous out here. You're breathing in that sea air. There, Julian is looking at the ocean. Mm -hmm. Looking at those big waves. <laughs> He's well traveled and uh, rich in experiences. In five months. Yeah, He's really. stacking those experiences mm -hmm. pretty fast. I do believe there is impact on him because he sees it and it goes into his mind and he breathes it in and everything else. And mm -hmm. um, he also gets bored when he's inside now. He wants new experiences. <laughs> which we are happy to give him. We're training him this way because that's how we are and we want to travel with him. Well, good morning. It is about noon and it's a gorgeous, gorgeous day in Monterey once again. So it's full sun today, very different from yesterday, which was really cloudy and foggy. And yeah, we're out on the walk again. That's right. So because it's sunny, we want to be on the beach all day and basically chill. Or like Anthony B says, I know my skill and there's time to build, but now is the time to chill. So let's do it. Right here in downtown Monterey, there's a nice beach with very, very smooth sand, kind of reddish actually, and a long pier, and we're looking for some food. Where we are is called the Breakwater Cove Marina, and on this sand is a public beach called something Carlos. <laughs> Don, Don <laughs> Carlos, whatever Carlos it was. It has nice golden sand. It looks Gosh, perfect. Yeah, what a beach. Nobody's swimming today, but I imagine on a summer day, it's probably full of people. And it's a conservation area for wildlife. Here it is stretching. And here there's a long boardwalk or a pier that we'll take right now. We may have found a restaurant that suits our need on the marina called Pig Wizard. So yeah, this is the view. The sandwiches will be coming soon. The baby seems calm. The day is going well. Well, this pig wizard really knows what he's doing because what I just had was pretty much a perfect sandwich. The bread was delicious and crispy, yet uh, soft to chew through. And the porchetta itself was locally made, juicy. Inside was well seasoned with basil and some other things. Five out of five for me on a sandwich. 
All right, now that we have some calories in the tank, we're trying to see what's at the end of this pier and see who's doing all that barking. Hopefully there's access because some of it is off limits. Yeah, so one side of it is, you know, pretty heavily fenced off. And then the other side, there is a fence that's a lot shorter. It smells like sea lion B.O. Oh, there's a hell of a lot oh, of sea lions. Oh, tons yeah, of them there. there. Oh, yeah, cool. they're playing in the water. Oh. Yeah, yeah. That's what we smell then. That's <laughs> <laughs> you always smell one before you see one. A little bit of a barrier with this fence, but... That's okay, we'll overcome. Here they are, wow. we found them. Right there, the entire thing is full of sea lions. All right, I'm gonna get the big lens out yes. and see what I can As get here. Well, oh, that was an awesome yet smelly experience. Smelly and not easy to shoot, honestly, but very cool. That's definitely the closest I've ever been to a sea lion. And yeah, that's pretty amazing. Yeah, yeah. It paid off coming out to the pier. I can't get enough of this color here. Oh, there's a here. bird just hanging out there. Yeah, a bird is standing on debris. It's pretty interesting. Now we're back on the beach, which looks just as amazing as before, if not more. So good. This is downtown. This could be your environment if you lived here. Continuing our leisurely day in the park and we found some really, really nice bars which we dearly miss where we live. And so we're doing our stretches now, repairing damage from holding the baby. This is after pregnancy That's and... so terrible! I used to be with Jitan. Postpartum. So you see our baby did come at a cost to our bodies and our finances, but he's worth it completely. Worth it. You can always, you know, work on getting back in shape, right? Yeah, which we'll, we're doing that now that we're on a vacation and hopefully we continue. But vacation is something we always try to use for being healthier. Yeah, especially with this weather. It's just so inspiring to be outside. You get the nice vitamin D and you get energized. We've both been like taking turns going for runs or walks in the morning by ourselves which has been good for physical and mental health. Exactly, it's really needed because we've been trapped in the house with the baby for months, working remotely and all this stuff. So right. this was so good for us coming here to Monterey. On the next episode of California Adventure. Today we're exploring Big Sur south of Monterey. You would never know this is a state park though because there's not any sign really and there's no marking. You kind of just have to pull over on the side of the road and find whatever parking you can get. As we found out last time, Big Sur can be a big bitch. And right now is the weekend, so it's a double XL bitch. Yep. Look at that, wow. Yeah, we are totally out of the forest now. Like the forest is just like right behind us and now we're up here. You would never know that there's a forest right behind us.